Hey guys, Orvis25 here, and welcome to my setup video for how to run DxTory uh, at startup on Windows 10. So I finally found a fix for this because I've been struggling with getting this working because DxTory does not normally support um, startup um, in the Windows, uh, but I finally found a way how to do this on the Windows 10 uh, operating system, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that today. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to go down here, we're going to hit uh, your little Windows thing, and we're going to type in uh, run, and it's going to bring up the run command. And we're going to go ahead and you're going to type in task schd.msc, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. If you get your uh, UAC thing popping up that says like warning, blah, blah, go ahead and just hit yes. Uh, you want to do this as an administrator. Um, this may or may not work if you're not an administrator, but uh, the best way to do this is if you are logged in as the administrator on your computer. So if you are not the administrator on your computer, uh, talk to whoever is the administrator on your computer, being like your dad or whatever, and show him this video and uh, you know have him do this while he's logged in as the administrator. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this uh, task scheduler library. Um, and we're going to go ahead on the right side under actions and click new folder and go ahead and name your folder DX Tory and hit OK and drop it down and you're going to see that we have one for Microsoft and one for DX Tory so we're going to go ahead and click on the one uh, named DX Tory uh, so then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here while after we clicked on uh, DX Tory in the left hand we're going to go ahead and click create task um, and for the name, you could just go ahead and type in DxTory uh, right there, and that's all you're going to want to do. And uh, down here, we're going to hit run with the highest privileges, which is basically going to be like run as an administrator. Uh, come down here to configure for and go ahead and just select Windows 10. And then that's pretty much it for the general tab. Then we're going to go ahead and go over to the triggers, hit new it's going to lag out for a little bit for some reason um, and we're going to go ahead and change this to at startup and then make sure that it's enabled at the bottom um, and that's pretty much it so we're going to go ahead and hit OK we're going to hit another one for new and we're going to go for this one for at login and make sure that that one is also enabled. You want to make sure that both of these are enabled. Go ahead and hit OK. Then we're going to go to the Actions tab and we're going to hit New. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's set to Start a Program. And we're going to have to browse to the actual program itself, which I have right here. So I went and browsed to the folder that uh, DxTory is installed in. We're going to go ahead and scroll down, click on the DxTory uh, exe application and we're going to go ahead and hit OK so you can see here that it's uh, this is the destination so this is where it's installed and I went ahead and selected the dxtory.exe file and that's what you want to do so go ahead and hit OK for that and uh, then after that we're going to go to the conditions tab and we want to make sure that we have this um, uh, start the task if the computer is on AC and the stop the computer if it switches to battery go ahead and uncheck both of those uh, I suppose you can leave those checked if you're on a laptop but I would just recommend uh, unchecking both of them uh, regardless of whether you're on a laptop then we're gonna go ahead and go over to the settings tab and we're gonna just check this if the task fails restart every and just leave it on the, the default settings uh, that's pretty much all you want uh, so then go ahead and hit OK uh, and we're going to go ahead over here and we see that it's DxTory. We have our task. Um, its status is ready uh, and everything else. And that's pretty much it. So then all you're going to do right now is you're going to go ahead and you can close out of this. Go ahead and restart your computer and enjoy having DxTory. Go ahead and automatically start when you log in or start up from Windows. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and a good comment down below and let me know how I did. Anyway guys, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching my video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. 
If you want to find my latest videos, you can go ahead and click right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to know where you can get the best deals on games and get them for up to 75% off, go ahead and click the link in the description. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.